worth it? You're still hey, alive. Where are you taking him? He's, he's up there. How does that How do you get up? There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do it. You're nearly there. She can find the way. And goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. Hood <laughs> is slain. She is pure darkness. You broke him. You killed him. He couldn't see the darkness within you. She shouldn't listen to her father. Why didn't she listen to her father? She thought she could defy her father. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. No one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. He led you astray. You should have listened to your Friendship father when turned you to love. Why didn't you listen to him? But this the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zimbel and her brother. And Delia. Two realities tearing at her soul. Everything gets broken in the end. You've killed him with your love because he believed in you.
Do you remember how he made you feel? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. Dillion's in the tower. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. She listened to her father. She thought she could defy her. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. 
A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. You're still alive and Dillion's dead. Does it deserve to be dead? How does that make you feel? I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Go to him. Go to him. That's it. Quicker. 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 You're going to fall. You're going to fall. Careful. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinra. 